Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brick, and I'm here to make you into a lean, mean building machine. We're going to take it step by step and put together the coolest LEGO sets out there so that you will have the tools and tricks you need to build whatever crazy thing you can imagine. Hey everybody, we're back with our LEGO Land Rover Defender set number 42110. Today we're doing part 10 of bag 2, so let's get into it. Okay guys, we're starting on page 168. That's step number 287. So, we need to grab two of these gray bunny ear shapes, like this. Looks like little eyes and little bunny ears sticking up. Grab two of those in light gray, and then we need four black double-ended clips. One, two, three, four. And then we are going to put two clips, one in each of the eyes of the, our bunny clip. That. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. So when we have two of these, then we're going to look at this right here. Okay, we're going to look at the engine block. And right here in the front, we are going to put those black clips in like this so that the ears are hanging down. And clip in like that. And the other one like this. Okay, now step 288. Let's grab. Um, let me see, we need one of these four space long red X bars, and we need a black um, it's a number two connector and we're going to put the X bar into the end of that and then we need a dark gray connector like this and we're going to slide that onto the X bar so that it's hanging down and the hole on our number two connector is going out the sides. Okay, that. And then we need a blue clip with the X bar and clip. And we're gonna put that into the bottom there, like that. Now, we need to take that and on the side with the steering wheel. Okay, so here's the steering wheel. Right here, these are going to go into, let's see, the red X bar is going to go into the bottom of that light gray clip that we just put in there, okay? So slide that in there, and this blue clip is going to connect into that black piece underneath it, okay? Let's hold that in there, then we'll go to step 289. And in step 289, we need a five space long brown X bar with the cap on the end. And we also need two of our light gray thin spacers. And let's see, we are gonna put this um, light gray, um, what do they call it? Shock absorber up here. Line up with that and you have to kind of compress it a little bit so that it fits in that hole. But you want to put one of these spacers on. Let me see. This is going to come from the back through the hole of this dark gray piece. And then you're going to put a light gray spacer on. And then it's going to go into that shock absorber, and then into another spacer. Oh, I just lost it in there. Come on out, there you go. And then put that on there, but don't push it through any more than that, okay? We're not ready for that. All right, now, step 290, we need to grab uh, one of these red clips that has a double long 
clip and then the X bar off the other side of it and we need a dark gray piece like this and we need to put the clip through the clip hole sticking out like that and then the clip let's see this is going to go on so that the clip goes into this black piece here right here and then this brown X bar is going to push through into this X bar hole okay so we'll clip that on right here see it's lined up right there ready for it and then push this the rest of the way through and you might have to turn it so that it lines up in that clip there you go now go to step 291 and let's get um, two of these light gray um, clip and studs and then you want two light gray single round studs and you're going to put those onto the stud clip and just like little caps and these are going to go on the opposite side from where we were building so let's spin this around right here into these holes on these number two connectors okay we're going to slip those into there step 292 we need a four space long red X bar we need four of these dark gray pieces they have this little pin hanging off perpendicularly to the X bar hole right there that spacer so these are going to just line up onto the end of this. Okay, all four of them and go on to the X bar. And find the other ones with it. There we are. Okay, like that. Then those are going to go into. Okay, so these pins, the two outside pins, are going to go into the center holes of the studs on those single studs, and they're going to. This is all going to hang down okay, like that. And push that into place like that. Then we'll go to 293. Um, in 293, we can set this aside for a second. We're going to do a separate build. Um, grab a five space long uh, brown X bar with the cap. Grab a tan half gear. And we're going to slide that on so that the teeth are facing the cap. All right. These teeth are facing towards the cap there. That's flush. Then go to 294. We need one of these black pieces. It's like a U shape. Okay, it's a U shape. It has these two holes facing the sides. Like that. Or kind of an H shape actually. Yeah, and it has two clips coming out of the bottom and a clip hole down the center. Okay, don't confuse it with this piece. This is a very similar piece. This is not the same thing that we're looking for, okay? The H shape. All right, so then you're gonna take this and go from the inside, 
top here like that so that it hangs down between these clips. And then take a red spacer sleeve and stick it on there. Hold that in place. All right, now go to 295. And 295, now we need that U-shaped piece that we just had. We need this. And we also need a gray, dark gray, X-bar. This is five and a half spaces long, okay? It has this, like, stopper in the center portion of it here with a little gap. That is going to go, let's see. Okay, in the call-out box, oh, we need a couple other pieces first. So we need a black connector. Um, it looks like a clip. And, okay. So this is basically just a clip hole with this X-bar coming off the side of it. And you're going to put the black clip into the clip hole, and then we're going to put that into one of the bottom corners of this U-shape, the X-bar is going to go into there, so that the clip is hanging off the side like that, and then we're going to take this dark gray bar and we're going to put it through the center hole of the U-shape so that this spacer is at the top. down like that. Okay, then we're going to line this up. So for you guys it's looking like this. Go in like this and then get another tan half gear that's going to mesh on the other side of this H shape right there and then push this gray X bar into the center of that. I have to kind of twist it and hold that tan gear in place. And really kind of wiggle it till it gets in there. There you go. All right. So with that on there, and slide that down like that, so that these are bumping up against each other. Now in uh, 296, let's grab this L-shaped red piece, okay? It's like, it's kind of like two of these gray pieces fused together, okay? And then we also need um, a small black gear. And now the red piece is gonna go Right here on the outside on this clip, we are going to put it like this, just like that. Okay, put that on there, and then this black gear is going to go in the center of this U shape. Like that. All right. So now that we have that built, I'll give you a good look at it. Kind of floppy. Okay. So now in 297, bring this back. We are going to look at this side right over here. In the front here, there is this hole is going to take. Okay, so you're going to fold this up like that, and this clip is going to go into that hole, and the U-shape is going to face forward, okay? That Alright, then 298, in 298 we need Another one of these long red clips. It's a double wide clip with an X bar. 
And this is gonna go through the corner hole of this red piece right here and into that black piece behind it, okay? I believe that is the is the fourth hole back, okay? On that black piece. All right, so that's clipped in place. We'll go to 299 and we are going to grab a, let me see, a six space long black X bar. And then we need two light gray thin spacers. And then we're gonna take both of these shock absorbers, okay? And we're gonna put the bar from the back. We're gonna put one of these spacers on here, put it through the light gray, and then another spacer, and then the red top of the strut, and then just put it through to the end of that strut, okay? We're gonna hang on to that. And then we'll go to step 300. And in step 300, we need a black number two connector. We need a red four space X bar. We need one of these dark gray connectors and we need a X bar clip blue combo. All right, the X bar is gonna go into the bottom of one of these X bar holes. And then the red X bar is going to slide into the top of that with this blue, I mean with this number two connector going on there so that the whole of the dark gray and the black piece are both facing the same direction like that, okay? Now, this is going to go on to here, onto this black X bar with, that the, the struts are on with the red X bar pointing in, and this is gonna hook on right here, and then we're gonna fold this up and stick that red X bar into this bunny ear shape, okay? We're gonna push down on these struts a little bit and slide that into place there. All right, now we need to go to 301, grab a dark gray uh, number one connector, and let's slip that onto this brown X bar, okay? The clip hole is gonna slip onto that. And then we're gonna push this down, push these struts down, and push this black X bar from the back so that it, so that it goes through this red clip and into this number one clip, okay? All the way through that's holding that into place and we're gonna grab let's see we need actually where are we go to the other side we need a red spacer and we need another small black gear okay the spacer is going to go onto this brown x bar and the gear goes on top of that all right, that's a good place to stop. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, come back next time. We're gonna have part 11 of bag two. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.